book you you posit that culturally the curse is that we are not so much different but we are so much alike well you know you have to understand when that's said in the novel it's in the nature of a joke I didn't hear the rim shot I'm sorry <laughs> because I thought I'd, I was writing a novel about two worlds that were totally unlike each other and I was trying to bring those two worlds into contact with each other in order to explore the consequences of the contact of two worlds which were so different. And then I found myself discovering they were all like each other. You know, and I found, to start off writing a book about difference and end up writing a book about similarity, you know, was a, was a, it was a surprise to me too. You talk about how this book is set in the time where, where the real and the unreal was separated and cursed to live apart forever. Before, before they were, which is what made the book so kind of fun to write. Mm -hmm. That if you live in a time when people believe deeply in the reality of the supernatural world. Um, it allows you as a writer to treat the supernatural world in the same way as you treat the natural world. And I think one of the great gifts of literature is that it can give you worlds which are not your world. And what do I know about Madame Bovary's rural France, except what I know from Flaubert? People living 400 years ago didn't think the way we think. Of course, that's the interesting thing in the end, is to, is to be able to offer an insight not just into um, the world of the past, but the psychology of the past. In the book, there, I mean, there's a great question of lineage for all these people that they're working, working through together here. And, and you have your own uh, questions and concerns with your own family tree. Would you wish that you could escape your own family past or reinvent it? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of essentially have escaped my family. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, my family is, is quite large and I don't like most of it. <laughs> the, the Westerner in this story carries a, is carrying a, a tale, and he, he points to the fact that this story will either uh, bring him great fortune or cost him his, his life. Yeah. Is that the way you feel as a novelist? No, I just think that's the way you should feel. Yeah? <laughs> I think you should, you should, you know, write every story as if it's the last thing you do. I don't get many five out of ten reviews. <laughs> <laughs> And when people review my books, they either give them, you know, 11 out of 10, or minus 1 out of 10. <laughs> it's a, and there's, it's as if there's nowhere in between, you know? um, And, I mean, I think that's all right, really. I think it's, it's quite interesting to be a writer who engenders positive, such positive and negative passion, you know, because at least it's not indifference. Mm -hmm.